uh, a few of his ships. We've gotten rid of all of his heavies. Um, we're not going to retreat just yet. We're going to want to do some more damage first. But on about the 14th or 15th, we'll probably duck out. Um, if we sink a few of his transports, a few more of his transports, things are going to go really well for us there. So we're going to lose a cog. We don't really have an option in that. And we might lose Mixtech. We'll see. Ooh, a nine. Nice dice roll, you ass. Alright. Still, what ships have he has he brought? He's also brought two early characters and a single carrick. If we could uh, get a better roll than nine, we might be alright. I normally don't pay this super close attention to naval battles, but um, basically I don't want to lose any more ships if I can avoid it. So we'll see how it goes. He has a slightly better general now because um, Portugal. How are we doing against his ships? Yeah, we haven't really brought our guns to bear on his new ships, but that's okay. He's also not targeting the uh, stuff that we care about, so things will work out. Plus, we're about to bring in five new ships to this, so All right, a good roll for us. We're not even really targeting his heavies yet, but we've really beaten down his fleet, so... Right, next deck's still good. We've lost another uh, early Carrick. I don't know where. Like I said, I don't normally micromanage this tight. 7%. 7%. We have a fantastic roll here. Okay, well, we're going to lose one more intentionally. Um... Basically, in the hope that we will pop another of his. 26% on Puerto Rico, 20% on Puerto Rico. I hate it when it pops back up. 13% on Puerto Rico. I think we'll probably be able to kill this uh, non pariah and then we'll be done. 7% on Puerto Rico. Nope, non pariah is still around. Oh, I could stay in this battle. We just lose number out. We totally did. Uh, I shouldn't stay. I shouldn't stay. I'm so determined to like beat his fleet if possible. No. All right. I'm gonna back out now. I think. Oh, we sunk them. When did we do that? Oh no, he, he, he ran! Well, now it's worth losing a ship. I don't mind losing even another early Carrick. I'm gonna have to build some more. Alright, 7.53. 851, 800, 768, 68, 68, cool. Alrighty. So now we're back to that terrible general. Um, he's about to get another one of my um, carracks, but that's okay. 3%. Or maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. Alright, he's just getting melted now. See ya. He's not even running for some reason. There we go. Alright, we lost four heavies and a cog. We killed three heavies. Twelve medium ships and sixteen cogs. In addition to that, he lost 16,000 men. He also captured a ship. God knows which one. Um, 
but we totally captured a ship. I guess we captured a cog? None of these are named Britishly. So, but I'll, uh, I'll take that word for it. Alrighty, that makes me happy. I had a feeling this would work, I just wasn't sure, you know? Um, and it's not like, it's not like troops. You can't just get them back easily. They require a lot of work. Meanwhile, Portugal's entire armada has come out. A little late for that, but... Yeah, we can't. That's not a fight we can win currently. We need to get these guys back up to strength. And recover their morale. Still. We will be able to deal with that. 10,000 Portuguese troops. We'll be able to drop them here and walk across the strait. So it shouldn't be too big of a deal. Pity England's still interested in this war. Most of you know I just trounced their navy. The more that I trounce their navy, the um, worse it's going to get for England because they're going to get to the point where they'll be seen as weak navally. Um, you know, like Sweden has 57 ships. To be fair, most are galleys, but yeah. So we're getting there. Look at our force limit, 55. Even our force limit is better than England's, I think. It might not be better than England's. But, uh, yeah. In terms of naval force limit, we are the winner. All right. Good work, guys. We should build more of these. So we've got some developing all the time. This makes me very happy. That is actually probably the first ever naval thing I've ever won. I don't think um, I've ever done anything uh, all that amazing navally in this game, so. Like, I, I've won a couple of, like, little shitty battles when I was doing my Najd playthrough and stuff like that, but. Um, yeah, never something all that fantastic. Ooh, no. Yeah, cool. Sweden have religious civil disorder. Hmm. So it's a pity we couldn't kill these, but we'll come in and do so soon enough. I want to finish getting this done, and then I want to drop off on Jamaica and get that done as well. So I'm going to drop that ship. And look, the cogs, you know, you might be like, oh, the cogs, they don't really provide much, but they provide enough. Um... Yeah, I might as well get everything to full, actually. They provide enough um, of, like, a, you know, cannon sponge, essentially. So. Might as well get that trip over here. So we can stick him on the ship. Alright, gonna have to... Get over here kind of quickly. I keep forgetting that without um, ports it just takes a month. Oh, also, I need to send you back to that. And... 
Oh yeah. Kind of forgot about this. Let me uh, deal with that. Because I might as well. It'll have separatism, but that's okay. Um, Venice, Jamaica, sorry. Do we deal with Jamaica or not? How's that going? We still need one or two more months there. I think we should, um... I don't know, maybe we should sit tight. Eleven thousand men. I could drop them off here. Screw with their colonies over here as well. I'll just uh cancel that one. Guess we might as well take this. We're probably going to get to it, so. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop a bunch of troops off here. I'm gonna sit them on Trinidad. And then I'm just gonna ferry them across to St. Vincent. I need to build more troops. My manpower's at max pretty much, so. Let's get that done. Um, somewhere. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah. I think that'll work. I'm going to wait for one more. Um, tick for repairs. Actually, it doesn't really matter, does it? Let's get you, you, and you over to here as well. Let's pick up these troops and go and drop them on Trinidad. We still don't see any England coming back. That's good. Oh. 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 Hi. How you doing down there? Sitting at that column. Oh. Oh. It's almost bad timing. Almost bad timing. That was almost great timing. That's what we want. We want to have this war. I'd prefer to have all these ships there for it, but I really don't like the idea of uh, 5th of October. 16th of September. I don't want to lose my troops if this goes pear-shaped, so... I kind of want to stay here and get rid of these first. 5th of October. No, 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 stop, stop. <laughs> yeah, stop. Go to there. Oh, what's he doing? Oh, he's, he's put them in there. Well, that tells me that this is going fantastically well. 
This is too much fleet for him to deal with. Which to me sounds perfect. Let's burn that to the ground. Alright, he's still going to come out and come and join us. Um, but, yeah. He uh, barely laid a hand on us, so... And now he's stuck heading to Lesser Antilles. So we're going to go meet him there. Heck yeah, we are. Let's go crush his army. Yeah, that should be fine against 2,000 horses. Like, I almost should have waited until he got on the ships, so that way I wouldn't have to use my manpower to deal with it, but... I think it's going to work out alright. Alright, we still need to look at this kind of closely. He has less morale than England did. Oh, he has no leader. He still has five characters, though, and... They're all three are new. The rest are not. So it is, it is still worth paying some attention. We have 15 characters. This should be easy. Um, I just, I'm so concerned because I'm used to really terribly losing naval battles. So. Uh, we don't need this Mercury. Oh. See you, buddy. Didn't even lose a single ship. So, I don't know if any of you have seen Star Wars, but there is this fantastic uh, scene in one of the later Star Wars, technically earlier Star Wars, whatever you want to work with. And uh, it's got some... Darth Sidious, I think it is. I don't know. Emperor Palpatine, basically. Spoilers. And he's like, wipe them out. All of them. I just had that playing in my head. Alright. Are any of these good? No, they're all pretty terrible. They do send me trade power though. Okay. Yeah, okay, so it is definitely worth owning this area if I can. And this area and... Strangely, South Africa. Okay. Interesting. Well, we'll think about that for a little while later. We haven't really looked at our stuff. Okay, everything's going well. We do, of course, need to deal with these 11,000 men. But we have the capacity to do so now. So let's do it. Fantastic. Now, I can sit on this for a little while, and I will. Hopefully I'll pay enough attention to know when I've... More to the point, I'll leave this 1,000 there, because what will happen is he'll attack it, and I'll get like a, a lost battle notification, and then I'll deal with the, uh, the province. I might not be able to recall them while they're being sieged. We'll see. Oh, actually... Uh, general out of our air, sure. Let's put you on the transport. Let's drop you off from Jamaica. Take Jamaica back. Which I knew we'd be able to do. I knew it would just take time, so... Okay, Battle of Jamaica, fantastic. 
Um, we're going to go sit in a port and repair while that finishes. Oh look, a couple more ships. Send them around here for now. We're probably not going to actually need these last ones we're building over here in a panic, but that's okay. It's alright. We'll make it work for us. It's fine. Yeah, no, let's cancel these ones. We, we won't get much back for them, but there's no point in building them because they're going to be outdated and then they're going to cost us money and stuff and time to upgrade. Um, so yeah. Tax. Alright, Jamaica's owls. Oh, you've got another little colony going on, do you? How did you get that colony? No, seriously, how did you get this colony? You can't colonize off of a colony until it's finished. See? See how I can not send here? This province is landlocked and not adjacent to any of our fully developed provinces, colonies. So how, oh how, did you get this? I'm going to take a couple of print screens. Can be an event. Oh yes, you are right. You can get that, um, that event where they uh, migrate. You are correct. Thank you. Alright. Thank you very much, Geo. Well, let's uh, burn it to the ground. That'll slow down your process a little bit there. Get you guys out onto Trinidad. Part of me almost doesn't want to get rid of these, like, because they'll just take him so damn long to move them back. But no. England occupied Massachusetts. Oh, I forgot to see that my dude died. Oh well. Portugal is still super interested in this war. Yeah, we'll see how super interested they are when I start blockading them. See how super interested England is once I start blockading them. Alright, let's go drop these off on there. And then we have these units here, which we'll go in and get into Belize. Awesome, glad to hear it. Let's, uh, oh, see, I didn't bother to check. Oh no, that's okay. It's fine. I thought it was a different one. All right, let's get that one done next. Culturally converting you will cost next to nothing right now, but will cost it quite a lot later on. That's fine with me. I think that's all of the uh, gold provinces now dealt with. I do need to double check. There is a... under economic, I think. There's a trade good map mode. I oh, know we haven't dealt with this one. Well, that's all right. We can deal with that later. Alrighty, we got twelve thousand men there, but they are ahead of us in tech, so we'll do this the only way we know how. I like it when the game does that. It's sort of oh, it's just a graphical glitch. That's fine. That's fine. Alrighty. We're gonna need more cogs actually. <laughs> so we should probably um build a couple more cogs. And probably cancel these. 
two, three, four, five. Sure. Light ships will become useful for us too at some point, but. We could be getting ticking war score here if we wanted to, but. Oh my god, we can get an idea. No. Tech is marginally more important. Alright, I think 23,000 versus 11 should be enough. I don't need to go back and get. Oh! I don't need to go back and get because there's nothing to get. Okay, so in that case, let's do this. Oh, I got a little land here to grab as well. I like that it leaves the one with the general to last. That's uh, great going, guys. There's a bit of manpower here, but it's going to be well worth it, so... There we go. Alright, split and split. And we'll just get all these little guys back. I'll split you one more time. Let's grab that one. Of course, when you split something, it stops moving, so there is that. So about that ticking war score that you have. Oh. Suddenly, not so much, huh? I suppose I should have been um, getting these guys all happy and sorted, but it's alright. Let's get you guys down there. Uh, how many ships do I have? 11, so 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Let's drop off you. And we'll send you down here as well. Budgie 1012 says, News of the day, uniting all of Italy as Florence by 1530 generates a lot of AE. Yeah, yes it does. But it's also glorious, so... Oh, you have a ship. Oh, that's so cute. Oh. Oh, hey, Portugal. I like that you're still interested in this war. That will be rectified shortly. What? Oh, England. England is coming as well. That's alright. That's a-okay. We've got this. We could actually split our fleet now, actually. So, I really should do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. What are you going to do next, huh? Like, run away! It's probably gonna go down to here. Alright. Let's uh, get you guys on board, all except one. Uh, 
and then we'll take you over